deadly crash overnight. A tractor trailer drove off the side of the Conowingo Dam, killing the driver. This is something. WMAR 2 News Abby Isaac standing by now with the latest on the crash investigation, which closed down the road for several hours today. The Maryland Department of Transportation crews were out on Route 1 repairing parts of the dam's barrier as state police try to figure out what caused the truck to leave the road. A mangled tractor trailer towed away. Maryland Department of Transportation crews work on a closed US-1 at the Conowingo Dam, repairing concrete and removing a broken lamppost after a deadly crash overnight. Maryland State Police say at around 1.30 this morning, a tractor trailer ran off the side of the dam. The Peterbilt truck was filled with trash and heading southbound, approaching the dam at the Cecil Harford County line. Right at that uh, area is a very slight bend in the road to the right. And for some reason, this tractor trailer did not make that turn, but it kept going, went over the wall there and landed about 80 feet below onto the dam floor area. It was dry, not in the water. The driver, 53-year-old Luis Garcia from New York City, was killed. State police are now investigating what caused the truck to go off the road. The weather conditions, the medical history of the driver was the truck in good mechanical shape. So they'll have to look at all these different factors and it could take weeks really until they arrive at a conclusion as to what happened. Route 1 has since reopened and MDOT doesn't expect any further repairs that would disrupt holiday travel. It's estimated that 14,000 cars travel this section of road every day. With it being, you know, like a holiday, uh, I think it was a very brief closure. So we were fortunate in that. The dam's operator, Exelon, is turning over security video to state police and, as a precaution, is bringing in an inspector to verify there's no structural damage to the dam.